Well, welcome back. I'm, uh, my last video, or probably a continuation of this one, will be the uh, polishing of the exterior skin. And I'm going to try something that somebody was telling me about. I'm going to take 220 sandpaper, put it on my little sander, sand down the uh, a spot or two on the back of the trailer where there's a lot of oxidation. And then I'm going to take the uh, angle grinder to it and see what I can't. Uh, take off. So we're going to try that. I was inside because it's pretty windy, so I'm going to uh, cut it off, go out, set up, and then I'll just put music over this because one thing I hate is wind noise and people that run their tools in my ears while I've got headphones on. So I'm, I'm trying to be mindful of that because I don't like it either. All right, so here we go. finish up the polishing portion of what I've been doing here. I started here with the polishing and I was just using different things. I bought a, uh, an orbital polisher and I was trying to do it by hand 
and uh, then somebody told me I ought to get a, a grinder and put some wheels on it. I did that. So I kind of got this. I need to go back over this. I was just using different uh, grits. Come follow me here. This is what I was doing the other day. Or this is what I was doing the other day. I actually sanded with 120 grit sandpaper this area right here. Not a good idea. I, this is a 1963. I do not believe there's clear coat on it because when I got down here, it polished up really quick, really fast. I just think it's a lot of corrosion on here that I'm taking off. This is still uh, rubbing compound. This is still compound on here. What I did here, I was using brown, I don't know the grits, but I was using the brown uh, uh, compound here to uh, try and work this out. But when I got here, I was using a green and a white. And as we come around here, there was a, there was a lot of cor corrosion here, around here. And this is all done with a, a white and a green stick. The same thing with this right here. It was all done with a, a, a green and a white stick. Thank you, Parker. All right, pause it.
been working on this for quite a while now, so I'm going to wash it off and see what we got. So, go for it. All right, a little bit of use an automotive scope. Well, it's looking better. It's looking better. So, let's see if I can do this without shaking it too much. We're getting there. All right. I'm done for the day. See you later. Okay. So when I started out, I was using this orbital polisher. It's Bauer. It's from Harbor Freight. Pretty inexpensive. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it or something like that on sale. These pads come, you can buy these pads different places. This is a Chemical Guys pad. Got it off of Amazon. This is what I started with. This did not cut the corrosion very quickly. So I got frustrated and everything so I moved on to making noise this beast now these are uh, coarse polishing pads that I got off of Amazon and this is a Bauer 15 amp uh, grinder that moves like this now this is not the safest thing in the world to use if you're kind of clumsy or whatever or if you feel comfortable with this you can hang on to this thing and work it across, add your uh, uh, polish as you go across. And this was not really expensive too because I got it on sale for like $80. You can get your fingers caught in this thing and it will hurt. So it's not really the safest thing in the world, but it's the one of the easiest. Now talking about polish. I, uh, I started with this. These are like five bucks at Harbor Freight. This is the brown. This is a very coarse 
uh, rubbing compound. And they just come in sticks. I've been using that. What I used on the rear was a combination of green and white. These are not as uh, abrasive and they will uh, take off the corrosion pretty good, but they'll leave a nice shine underneath when you get the corrosion off. It leaves them shiny. There's not a lot of scratches and stuff. So I'm using this when there's not a lot of scratches on the uh, trailer. Like up here on the front corner, I've got a lot of rock beams and stuff. So Outside? On the outside. So I will be uh, using a lot more of the brown to do that to level out those uh, scratches and I'll come back and uh, make it really shiny with this. I also use safety glasses. These are not safety glasses, but I always wear my safety glasses. I wear a respirator. You look at this face shield. I clean this quite a bit. And yet, I still get a lot of rubbing compound on the face of it. So this is imperative for safety-wise to keep this stuff out of your eyes and off your face. And I still end up like a, a coal miner when I finish doing uh, polishing for a day. So this ends what I got to say about polishing. So if you got any questions, leave comments down in the... Uh, comment section. It really helped the channel a lot if you would subscribe, like, and please share. We'll see you later. One Bad Mac YouTube channel.